Anger is growing over a state government backflip on a multi-million dollar redevelopment of the city's courthouses. The Chief Justice has slammed the turnaround, warning the precinct poses a safety risk and is obstructing law enforcement. The state's court precinct is terminally ill. The building in which we stand at the moment uh, has concrete cancer. Large slabs of the facade are falling off. But remission is now out of reach. As reported by Nine News last night, the state government has scrapped a $500 million project to redevelop the ailing Victoria Square precinct. A slap in the face for the Chief Justice, who's been lobbying for an upgrade for years. A substantial investment is urgently required dangerously out of date IT systems included. They are legacy systems that are at serious risk of breaking down and not being able to provide the data to other government agencies, police, correctional services and the like that is required simply to to enforce the law. The Chief Justice says that some of the courtrooms are so old that the ventilation doesn't meet current standards and they've been rendered unusable. Some simply lack the most basic facilities like PowerPoints and disability access, cracks in the foundations of justice. Those conditions that they are working in are, are not good, not good. The Attorney General says a court's upgrade will happen, but a $500 million one wasn't good value for money. That does not mean we have abandoned this as something that's worthy of doing. It means we're going to have to consider doing it in other ways. Kim Robertson, Nine News.